So welcome to the uh, first session in the drug I. So this is uh, for symmetry key curve analysis one. So we have two talks here. And the first talk is entitled Improved Conditional Cube Attacks on Ketchup Heat Modes with MILP. So the authors are Chun Li, uh, Wen Chun Li, Xiaoyan Dong, and Xiaoyan Wang. And Chun Li uh, gives talk. Thank you for the introduction, and I'm happy to share uh, our works about uh, improved conventional cube attacks on Kachak heat mode with MILP method. Uh, first, I will introduce Kachak heat mode and their script analysis results. <coughs> The uh, Kachak kit modes use Kachak P permutation uh, as its internal permutation, and it has uh, seven uh, choices for its list from 25 to 1600, and the seed can be uh, represented as a three-dimension, a three-dimension state coordinate uh, as the x, y, z. <coughs> uh, so the round, round function has uh, five operations. The first is, is this operation. Uh, this operation uh, adds the sum of uh, adds the, adds the sum of column to its neighboring bits. And the row operation uh, rotates the length. High operation permutes the all the length, and the uh, K operation uh, provides multiplication in, in the round function. And the tau does the uh, addition uh, to line zero zero uh, around the constant. Uh, in our attack. We omit the uh, tall operation. Uh, the Kachak heat mode uh, cons construction. Kachak mag. Kachak mag. Uh, we uh, under previous key, we can control message and get message uh, cipher text pair for our analysis. And Kia. Kia is a uh, uh, a a e. uh, uh, we can control nonce and get nonce plan text, cipher text, uh, tag pair uh, for crypt analysis. So uh, this is a summary of crypt analysis results uh, for Kachak Mac uh, for the two variants. Uh, variant. Uh, we have improved the attack attacked the uh, uh, rounds by one round. And uh, for Kia major, we e explored the uh, shorter length. Uh, and uh, for the same rounds, we have improved the time complexity. And uh, uh, also for the Kia minor. Uh, then I will introduce some related works. Uh, in cube attack, uh, in cube attack, a cipher algorithm is uh, represented as a polynomial uh, f, and uh, t is a product of public variables. So uh, the monomials in f. Uh, which is divided exactly by t is put in t p t times p and uh, the others are put in q. So uh, when when they sum up f over all the values in c t, uh, they can find that the sum is just p. When p is uh, uh, simple, uh, such as linear. Uh, the equation can, equations can be solved and get the solution of k bits. Uh, uh, can, 
conditional cube attack. They give definition of cube, uh, conditional cube variables and uh, ordinary cube variables. Conditional cube variables are controlled in the first round with bit conditions. Uh, the bit conditions are about uh, k bits and non bits. Uh, the, the requirement is that uh, in the first round, all the cube variables do not multiply with each other. And in the second round, the uh, conditional cube variables does not multiply with uh, uh, all the ordinary cube variables. Um, so uh, we use the simple case that uh, there is only one conditional cube variable. So after several rounds, uh, the the public term, uh, the public term of all the uh, all the cube variables will not appear with the uh, right key gas in the outer put polynomials. So, uh, uh, but in but with the wrong key gas, the uh, the product term will will appear. So the right key gas can be formed. <coughs> and uh, linear structures, linear structures means that if the first four bits uh, in, in a color, uh, if the first four, uh, first four bits has variables in it, uh, then the last one bit be the sum of uh, the, the first four bits uh, this operation will be a uh, identity. So, uh, if we can choose that uh, the sum of a color, uh, a sum of five bits in a column to be constant, then uh, this operation will not diffuse uh, the variables in it. We denote this property as a sticky-like kernel. Uh, in fact, to uh, reduce the diffu diffusion of, of ordinary, uh, ordinary cube variables, we set them as city like kernel. Uh, then I will introduce our works. So to, re to reduce the number of gas and bits, we usually select uh, conditional cube variables in one color. In one column, like the blue bits uh, in the figure. So the key, uh, the bit conditions are uh, beside the uh, four four bit conditions, and the key is put in the uh, first two lines. So the green ones are padded with the zero. So the uh, white ones are the space we can search for uh, ordinary. Uh, cube variables. So to find enough cube uh, ordinary cube variables are the key points in our attack. And we uh, and we uh, introduce a new MILP model to find enough ordinary cube variables. Uh, for each bit, uh, for each bit A X Y Z. Uh, we set a simple axy, axyz, and uh, if there is the variable in it, uh, the sample is one. If there is no Q variable, uh, the sample is zero. Uh, to model the city-like kernel, uh, there are two cases. Uh, one is that uh, there is no Q variables, and the other is that uh, the number of bits containing cube variable is no less than two. So uh, they, uh, we can add a linear, uh, we can um, add a linear equation to control, uh, control the diffusion in this operation. And the constraints we should uh, require us to do is to uh, avoid the number of bits containing cube variables in each column from being one. And uh, uh, we should also 
record this column contain Q variables, and for each column, uh, we uh, we use D to uh, record whether it contain Q variables. It is sim it is similar to uh, to the bit symbol. Uh, so for each color, uh, if there is the cube variables in uh, one bit, the uh, D will be, uh, uh, must be one. So, uh, and uh, the sum of bit symbol must be, uh, must be no less than two. Uh, so this, uh, uh, this equa uh, equations can uh, constrain that um, the states uh, obey the safety like kernel. Uh, for each for each column, uh, if there are cube variables, uh, then we need a linear equation like a a like proof. Uh, if there is Q variables in a column, we should minus one for the number of e dependent variables. So the so for one column, uh, it uh, provides uh, this dependent Q variables to sum up all the columns. The objective. The objective function is like this. Uh, this just records the number of cube variables in the whole state. And to model the first round, uh, we know the condition. Uh, any of cube variables do not multiply with each other in the first round. So if two bits multiply, we add the constraints that the sum of them uh, must be uh, must not be more than one. Then uh, to avoid a avoid them to appear at the same time. Uh, and uh, for the condition that conditional cube variable do not multiply with ordinary cube variables in the first round. So if the bits uh, multiply with conditional cube variable, the corresponding bit symbol must be zero. For the second round, it's similar, but uh, before model the second round, we must add the uh, conditions in the first round. And uh, after that, for the new state, uh, if one bit multiply with conditional cube variables in the second round we let the bit symbol to be zero. Uh, this is a application for the above model. Uh, the, the first two lines are k bits and uh, uh, these are conditional cube variables. Uh, White ones are the space to search for ordinary cube variables. So according to the modeling search strategy above, uh, we will search the maximum number of independent ordinary cube variables. This is the objective function. And the uh, uh, constraints are added for uh, modeling safety like kernel. and uh, uh, use symbolic, symbolic computing. Uh, we can add the constraints for the first round and the second round. If any V0, VI exist, then the symbol for uh, VI must equal to zero. Uh, if if VI, VJ, exist, then the sum must be no, no more than one. Uh, also for the second, second round, 
after adding the bit conditions in the first uh, round, uh, if any v, v0, vi exist, so the corresponding bit uh, simple must equal zero. Uh, so we get the MILP model in the left. This is the objective function, and these are constraints. <coughs> With the help of Ruby, we get the opti optimized results. And we can see the objective value is 66. So we can uh, select the variables which are sampled with one. Uh, at last, we can select 64 cube variables from V0 to V63. Uh, V0 is chosen, uh, chosen at first in the beginning, and V1 to V63 are selected by our uh, MILP search strategy. So, uh, so with the correct key guess, uh, the product will uh, disappear. So uh, cube variables are zero. But with the key, uh, with wrong key guess, the product appears. So the cube sum are not zero with the high probability. Then the right key can be uh, can be selected. Uh, this is the uh, uh, application to PR major. Uh, we know uh, seven round conditional cube, uh, cube attack on PR major needs 64 uh, variables. And the six round conditional cube attack needs uh, 32 variables. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, so in the table, we can uh, find the burden of uh, the, the, the two rounds uh, conditional cube attack. Uh, four nouns, four nouns um, is more than more than this. Uh, seven round can seven round attack can be performed, and four nouns is no, it's no less than this. Uh, six round conditional cube attack can be performed. Uh, this uh, other applications for for catch catch up back here major, uh, they are similar, and we have do some tests. Uh, uh, it's like five round attack on Kia Miller and test for uh, cube sums in six round attack. And our source wrong, the source code are uh, online. Thank you for your attention. Okay, so do you have any comments, questions? So I have some questions. So, so did you try to uh, search for another one more round? Uh, for for catch up map, we uh -huh. have improved by one round. But for KR, we no no. I mean, I mean, did you try to improve more? Or I mean, you can't find solution, or you can't search for the space because it's too large. I think it should use new methods, maybe. Requires new methods. Okay. And uh, so, actually, can you go back to page 20? So, your, your search says that the objective value is 66. <coughs> yeah. And uh, so, I, I, so why you select 64 cube variables? What's the, yeah, in there, two? Oh. <laughs> uh, 
It's, uh, it's based on the catch HTTP communications uh, oh. pro property. Uh, the run function is degrees to so so seven run. And in the first run, they not multiply. And uh, the following six runs, they will be uh, 64 degrees. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So, any questions or points? Yeah, we still have more time. <laughs> okay, so maybe the last question. So, so, do you think this can be done, this can be searched by another tool, like the SAT software or constraint programming? So then, is there any particular reason that you chose MIP? Okay. Uh, yeah. I think uh, it's it's easy. It's more for me. I see. I see. Okay. So thank you very much. So let's thank the speaker again.